everybody's talking about the impeachment and Nancy Pelosi finally sending the impeachment papers over. Uh, and you think I'm going to talk about that, but I don't really care about that. No. Then, there is something I want to talk about. The China deal. Because that's important. That affects the whole world. That affects me as a person. That affects South Africa, where I'm from. That affects the whole world. Uh, and that's a good thing for us, because China has been undercutting our prices um, for so long that we have become under the socialist ANC democracy that we have in South Africa our labor costs have become so much that it is impossible for us to uh, be competitive with the rest of the world so unfortunately what's happened is China being China and I'm not going to say that you work for a bowl of rice and a place to sleep and a wait uh, you know uh, basement or something um, yeah I'm not gonna say that but uh, not because it's communist or anything like that it's got nothing to do with that but anyway so they've got child labor cheap labor because China will now be charged a little bit extra they will have to come to the party uh, when it comes to taxes they will now probably be changed to a first world country rather than benefiting from the third world country uh, taxes that they have been getting from but so that's important for me what Trump did there um, so I don't really care about the impeachment stuff we I watch it just for entertainment purposes but I must say I, uh, Trump does get a little bit upset about that you know so I think old Nancy knows how to push his buttons then the big news I want to talk about is what is our prince gonna do if he now finally has to work for a change? I am sorry, but I cannot see this happening. So, I, go, I don't see who wears the pants in the house. So, I know the queen used to wear uh, the, the, the pants in the house. It seems Henry is definitely not wearing the pants in the house. Uh, he's uh, taking his pants off and he's giving it to this other lady. They're moving to Canada and they are going to lead a normal life. So they're not going to get any money from the chest, chests full of money that they take from the British people every month. You know. So what does that mean? He's just going to get money for doing nothing and not appearing for cutting ribbons and, you know, you know, it's a stressful life, you know, I can imagine everything's, every job's got its little ups and downs, but yeah, I, I just don't see any downside to this. Um, I know they're flying up and down still with friends of these airplanes. Uh, they're on an island resort with a baby now at the moment. They're moving to Canada. Moving to Canada. I just don't get that one. Eh? I know I wanted to immigrate to Canada, but I had my reasons for it. If I was a prince and a princess, or she's not allowed to be called a princess, but if I was them, I would go somewhere in the Caribbean. What the hell do you want to go live in the ice cold snow for? You know, maybe she misses her dad or her family, you know, so let's not go there. The latest on the royal exit. Meghan spotted in Canada for the first time. She, seen, she and Harry revealed they want to step back from royal duties. And Prince Harry is now trying to finalize their deal with the Queen. Eva Pilgrim in Vancouver with a look at what could be their new life. Good morning, Eva. George, there's still a lot of details that need to be worked out on what their life would be like here in Vancouver. The city skyline is actually behind me this morning, but you can't see it because of all the snow. This is where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have chosen to put down their... The idiots. So they chose to go and stay in the very, very cold area of Canada. Okay. From a yeah. nearby island where she has been staying with baby Archie. 
Harry expected to join his wife and son just days from now. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau extending a welcoming invitation to the family, but noting that not everything has been set in stone. I think uh, most Canadians are very supportive of, of having uh, having you know, royals be here, but uh, how that looks and what kind of costs is involved, there's still lots of discussions there. Yeah. Yeah, he's an idiot. I don't even know why they have him on the show. I don't know how the Canadians could vote him in after all the corruption stuff that he was involved in. It's a special place. It's where she does special things for special people, you know? So, um, yeah, well, I don't want to watch this anymore. Let's just close this off. Okay, so basically what this boils down to is that these people are going to move to a place to become civilians okay but the place they're gonna move to is probably gonna cost in the region of a couple of million or sell us a billion uh, Canadian dollars and um, they are going to be getting money from grandmama which is actually from the British people and they're going to be living in another country so um, I'm, I'm I, I, if I was the British people I'd be very upset I would want to see the audited books every month to see if they're getting a cent especially with the uncle what's uncle Henry the paraphile uh, also now being kicked out of duty uh, so the royals are losing, uh, you know, they, they're losing people by the, the doubles, <laughs> double digits. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's still a lot of them to go, so yeah. But uh, I don't, I'm not really a fan of this little girlfriend or little wife of his. Um, she's just made trouble since she's gotten onto the scene. Um, I think she has got an ego problem and I think she's going to be downfall of this poor soul. Um, and I hope he knows what he's doing and good luck with that yeah anyway guys this is what I wanted to talk about me talking about the royal family I know that sounds like a, a girl's dream and what a girl would talk about sorry no no offense my uh, non-binary friends Hey yeah, guys, welcome to my channel. I want to talk to you today about YouTube content creating. So this journey started on another platform called YouTube because it was fairly unknown at that stage and I could say whatever I want. They are free speech open but it won't be accessible on the YouTube channel itself unless you have the link. The video channel I built up quite a quite a subscriber base very quickly driving to work talking nonsense about what's in the news. Tried to stay away from South African news which is unfortunately where I got the most hits but it wasn't what I wanted to do. The, this channel will be about the rest of the world's politics about the nationalist populist movements, about capitalism, capitalism versus socialism, because we know what socialism does to a country. Um, you can only give away other people's money for so long until it runs out. Socialism doesn't make everybody rich, it makes everybody poor, which is kind of true. There are still rich people out there, <laughs> usually government officials that are corrupt. I need you guys to subscribe to this channel. I need you guys to like, comment, and view every video from start to finish. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.